this is visible application is visible yes screen is visible yes okay so again we are going to start the debugging of the application so once i run this application this is the default behavior of the application we are debugging prateek login app here currently uh, i've got a few breakpoints set which i'm going to re remove stop my application and walk you through with the step one by one and what you are going to do you are going to execute the same on your uh, machine so i'm going to walk you through with the steps which we have covered yesterday so that you will have a fair idea about how we do it in the xcode and how we do it outside the xcode okay uh, so now so initially when we are going to set up the breakpoint when we attach the process now you need to understand when lldb attaches the process it attaches the process by default on line number 19 is this visible line number 19 because it shows you when you uh, execute the command um lldb set the matlab hyphen w attach the process is automatically set the uh, breakpoint on app delegate dot swift on line number 19 and column number 7 uh, somewhere here on on step number 7 so where app a is being called okay 19 okay. column 7 is this that we have set the breakpoint on app delegate by default when the when you attach the process okay so what exactly happens so let's say if i run this application again so i'm going to stop the previous application run the application so currently you can consider the process has been attached okay currently the process has been attached and i'm into let's say the debug state okay so what we can do is we have a lot of options which we can do here the first option which you have executed is bt okay which you already always do so in the bt what you can see you can see there is a thread number 1 which is the main thread and it does have a frame okay and the frame so shows that we are currently on app delegate dot swift 19.7 is that clear yes till here you have already reached which means visually we have set the breakpoint on line number 19 okay now what are we going to do so once you do frame info you get to see that the current frame is frame number 0 app delegate swift 19.7 is that clear you yeah. have reached out to this frame in case if you don't have this frame then you need to find out which is the frame number for app delegate swift 19.7 because on a real mobile phone the frame might be on a different number okay Yes. So what you do? Just quickly reach out to the step. I'm stopping my screen. You share the screen and show us the command line part. Just open it. The part which I have done here. So what you just need to do? Uh, stop the LLDB once. Control C. Exit out of the LLDB. What do you have to do? You have to start the process again. Let's say clear the screen. First, you run the debug server on your phone, and then attach the process. both of these commands i want so here we are going to run debug server on a mobile phone connect uh, back to allow the ip address from which we are going to get the connection on port number 3333 with hyphen w we are going to attach to the process now once the process has been attached you can see that the mobile phone is listening on port number 3333 for a connection from 192.168.0.100 which is pratik's mac machine so pratik we can go to the shell now and now we are going to connect to the shell so using lldb outside xcode we have started lldb we are going to connect platform select remote ios so since we are connecting to a remote ios machine which is a mobile phone then we are going to perform process connect connect colon double slash ip address of the mobile phone followed by port number and we are going to get connected to the process so once we reach here now you can see that this is the same thing the dynamic loader start which is displayed to us in my machine so we have got two frames on thread number 1 you have a frame hash which is dynamic loader start but in my machine it was app delegate because i was inside the xcode okay so now what we do need to do we need to find out the application 
delegate file where the thread currently is okay where the frame currently is so you can type the bt command so once you type the bt command you have got a specific frame frame number 0 so what we can do is we can perform a step over or you can also do thread thread uh, just show the thread list and the thread info thread list and the thread info okay not a problem okay so what we can do is we are currently at a thread where uh, the information is not visible currently so what we can do we can quickly perform uh, instruction thread instruction step in so pradeep just allow me a minute i'll just take you to that step okay, okay. uh or else what you can do is you can just type in thread step in or step over step over step over we'll go to the next step now we are currently we are also here you can quickly check the bt to check the frames one more step over thread step over thread step over thread step over thread step over we do need to reach out to the thread where com.main.apple package will be seen step over continue 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 currently we are still at the dynamic loader continue not a problem we have to reach out to the package com dot main dot continue continue so we are stepping over to reach out to app delegate dot swift frame or the frame with or the thread which says com dot apple dot main we have to reach out to the main thread we are currently at the dynamic library thread invalid thread you can step in just give me a minute let me just share so you need to reach out to thread number 1 where we have the main thread and the start thread what you can do is just do one thing go back attach the process once again because you need to reach out to this one com.apple.main thread until and unless we won't be able to proceed step by step because i have to explain you so you share the screen once again and just attach the process once again we'll see why we have not why you have reached to the dynamic loader just have the platform connection again exit lldb and platform connect again yeah you can let it running that won't be a problem I think we'll have to start over. 
Yeah, here it is, six seventy. the connection okay so platform select remote iOS is connected platform connect IP address of the mobile phone port number We got the connection. Just Pradeep, just one second. Now you, what you do is, uh, we are currently in thread number one and frame number zero. Perform BT, dynamic loader start. You go to thread step in. Do one thing, do one thing, do one thing. Just type process continue. Process enter up. Thread backtrace. Yeah, now we are into the proper thread, the com.apple.main thread. Thread backtrace. Yes. Now here in the backtrace, you have got the appropriate frame. So currently you are in the main thread. Okay. And now on frame number eight, we are here. Yes. Cool. So I'll show you, I'll walk you through from now here. Just give me a moment. Let me just share the screen. So what we have to do currently 
we have been on the specific frame pratik login app so when i call my thread info so i am currently on thread number 1 which is pratik login main app swift 19 okay which is com.apple.main thread also i have executed thread backtrace on that so here you can see that currently from initially i was in the frame number 1 where it was live dyld dynamic library start one and from there i reached to this frame okay frame pratik login app at 19.7 so what we have to do is currently my current frame selected is number 0 in your case we again have to go frame select and we have to select the appropriate number because in your case it is frame selection 8 so you have to share it you have to share your screen and perform the command frame select number 8 frame select because on number 8 frame you have your main app delegate dot swift okay so now we can see that we have reached out to the class app delegate ui responder ui application delegate on line number 19 okay the arrow in front of line number 19 says that we are currently on this instruction is that clear now yes. i'll take you to the steps step by step okay now what do we have to do so currently if we observe i am here on this thread this you were able to see in the lldb also this is the source code okay i think this is displayed to you you are on line number 90 on ui responder and you have a ui application delegate this is being represented yes and we are currently on this step okay now what are we going to do here now so currently once we are here we are going to step in okay we are going to step in so once we step in where do we go we go to the next instruction okay which shows that i have currently reach out to a position which is which which runs test message and the gesture recognizer executed because i had that tweak uh, you know in my code depending on the file can you see that where yes. have reached when you did step in sorry i did step over i had to do step in i'll just run again sorry mistakenly i have clicked step over so i i i came out i'll do it right again no problem so i'm here at line number 19 so instead of step over what i do need to do i need to get into step into okay so you can do right step into once i right step into okay i should get into the complete application is that clear yes so you can show the screen and just show me what is happening when you type that instruction in the prompt so you are here you have to type in thread thread step in so once you run thread step in you reach to the next instruction you can check the thread information whatever it is it is currently in the library system kernel dynamic library and all that stuff okay now here what you have to do is you have to search or set a breakpoint okay so you have to set breakpoint when you are in that step we are going to set the breakpoint view did load okay so i'll i'll tell you i'm sharing the screen so currently let's say how am i going to run it again i'm going to rerun my application my application will be stopped at the thread app delegate file and what am i going to do if i quickly show you bt we are here on the main thread on frame number 0 which is pratik login main app delegate swift 19.7 now i'm going to set the breakpoint i'm going to set breakpoint set hyphen hyphen name view did 
load. Okay, so I'm going to set a breakpoint to view the load, and I'm going to get there will be two breakpoints set. Currently, it is showing me 152 locations. You tell me what it is currently showing in your case. Share the screen. Okay, so you have also got fifty-seven locations because currently we were uh, we can access all the viewed load functionalities available. Now what I have to do, you are going to type in breakpoint list. Just see the breakpoint list. Okay, now here you have to quickly see if you have got any breakpoint set at Pratik Login app. if not then we'll go step by step so here you can see that the very first one is set in your case pratik login app dot login page view controller dot view did load plus 16 on login page view controller dot swift on line number 33 so we got to know that on line number 33 on this application pratik login app there is a class known as login page view controller Which is a login page view controller dot swift file and on line number thirty three there is the method known as view did load method. Okay, now you will perform. I will share my screen and show you what is happening in my case. So when I reach out to this place and I perform breakpoint list, breakpoint list. So again you can see that I've got. 152 locations for various other applications running in my machine but the first one which i have got here is pratik login app they will be this this is my breakpoint set for view did load conditions and this is where it is set pratik login app login page view controller view did load plus at a specific location okay can you see that on line number 33 yes right yeah so what are we going to do now i'm going to continue the process and i'm going to be stop that view did load now okay at this breakpoint 2.1 i need to get it here so i'm going to run continue the process and i'll see at what place i would be stopping so currently you can see that in my thread okay you can see that i'm currently on which thread within pratik login app i have the following threads thread 1 thread 2 okay these are the following threads which are currently running com.apple.ui kit for event fetch thread 7 is running for some kernel return thread 8 is interacting with some of the features we are going to let, get it okay the list might be currently generating so there are nine threads which are currently running within pratik login app okay which thread would we like to connect with either we can see the login page viewed it controller setting within the uh, assembly code okay so here in the assembly you can see that from here the viewed it load assembly code has started where we have pushed the rbp then we have moved the base pointer to the stack pointer okay then we have added some variables into the value and this is how the assembly looks for this application can you see that yes you can quickly observe the specific thread so you can quickly see the ui application main section okay also you can see the main thread also how the main function is looking and you can also see how the start is looking the dynamic loader start so from dynamic loader start we have reached to breakpoint 3.1 okay this is how this assembly part looks so currently which means agar aap ye samjho ki jisko assembly aati hai wo isko yahan se bhi modify kar sakta hai is statement se bhi modify kar sakta hai theek hai because he understands ye ui application kit launch hui hai ui application kit se pehle ye hai hamara viewed load ki functionality jahan se hamari application ka process start hoga 
अब इंस्ट्रक्शन बाय इंस्ट्रक्शन हम स्टेप बाय स्टेप बाय स्टेप एग्जीक्यूट करते चले जाएंगे नीचे समझ रहे हो दिस इज द असेंबली कोड तो असेंबली कोड और असेंबली से कर सकता है अभी हम एक्सपोर्ट के अंदर हैं तो ये मेन कोड हम इस तरीके से देख पा रहे हैं ठीक है अदरवाइज यूजर क्या करता यूजर को इसे डिबक करना पड़ता असेंबली के अंदर ठीक है जो भी पैचिंग होगी वो डिसअसेंबली के थ्रू होगी तो करेंटली वी आर एट दिस स्टेप ओके इज दैट क्लियर यस आई एम गोइंग टू क्लीन इट नाउ एंड हाउ विल यू बी एबल टू सी दिस आई शो यू सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टॉप द स्क्रीन यू जस्ट शेयर द स्क्रीन वंस just give me a minute you can process continue and reach out to this breakpoint so the process has resumed you can now what you have to do you can see at which place you are currently okay and you can see disassemble command you can type disassemble just to reach out to the specific list disassemble now okay so you need to select the frame also type bt and see you are on which frame you are outside the thread reset kadam run again and reach out to the breakpoint what do i need to restart application okay so i'll exit yeah close the application and start again or connect yeah yeah close the application and start again. Pradeep, just give me a moment. Uh, yeah. I have a session in continuation. So what I'll do? Let me just complete my part. Then you can watch out this video and do the step. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So currently, at what position I am? I am in. Can you see that? Once I did the process continued, I have reached out to the breakpoint where viewed load has been encountered. Okay. Now, when you type in the disassemble code. you have to just give me the confirmation if my voice is audible to you yes you are yeah so when i am going to type in the disassemble code on that thread so i am going to get something like this in the console login page view controller dot viewed load and currently i am on this memory location 109 df8 and from here the instruction starts okay which is push the base pointer which means whatever is the base pointer value we are going to push its value Onto the memory, so as to create that stack. Is that clear? Yes. So when I'm, these are the following instructions. We can step into, we can step over, step into, and step out. Okay. So what I'll do, if I write frame thread step in thread. step in these are the instructions thread step in step out step inst step the instruction okay step in will be stepping into the function step out will be stepping out of the instruction step inst will be step to the next instruction so you have to type this one step to the next instruction okay so that you can reach out to appropriate instruction and uh, debug it okay step over means go to the next for uh, skip that complete steps okay then we have step scripted and step instruction over so first i'm going to show you the step instruction so i did step instruction and i did this assemble again i do the step instruction you can see that at the very top it is moving i was in push rbp then i have reached to the second instruction then i reached to the third instruction can you see that i'm just stepping it yes. one by one 
step number five, step number six, moving to the queue, then calling a function, object retain. Okay. So now I have to use this method step instruction. Now, once I did step instruction, you can see that the dynamic loader has been called objective C retain. So I have reached out to that dynamic loader code. Okay. Where this message send method is going to be called. Can you see that? Yes. So what I can do is I have to either step out of it so that I can reach out to the previous instruction back again. And if I do step instruction, okay, over step instruction, step instruction over. So what will happen? I will reach out to the next, next instruction again. So I can use both of these step instruction, which can take me to the next instruction and take me inside the next, uh, you know, the method itself, whatever method is being called. Can you see that? So this yes. is how I'm going through which each and every instruction happening. And currently I'm into the message thread where I'm going to send, uh, where I'm going to send the message. So currently we are into the dynamic library. So, which means I'm not in the application code. I'm into a library, which is that a uh, mobile phones kernel is going to instruct something. So this was of not much use to me. I'm going to come out of it here because I'm currently modifying the code, which belongs to my Pratik login app and not the existing libraries or any other libraries, which the kernel is using or calling. Okay. But here I can also find out the bugs in this also the system libraries, because you would have heard a lot of times kick as a bug, which is zero day. Kernel ke andar hai. So agar wo bug hai, to koi bhi application agar us functionality ko use kare, to exploit ho jayegi. Samajh ho? Yes. Thik hai? To uske baare mein baat karenge. To abhi mein kya karunga? Abhi mein step out kar lunga. Thread step out. Thread step out karne ka matlab, mein object send se bahar a jaunga. Thik hai? Thread step out kar liya. Yani mein object thread se bahar a gaya. Ab kaha pe a gaya? अब मैं आ गया दोबारा से लॉगिन वेज व्यू कंट्रोलर के अंदर डिसअसेंबल करता हूं तो करेंटली कहां पे हूं मैं डिसअसेंबलिंग के मेथड में अब मैं करेंटली इस जगह पे आ गया हूं वापस जो कॉल मैंने किया था उस कॉल से मैं तुरंत बाहर आ गया ठीक है इस कॉल क्यू के अंदर घुस गया था मैं आपने देखा होगा मैं स्टेप आउट करके फिर से बाहर आ चुका हूं मतलब अपने मेन व्यू में तो करेंटली पिछली बार मैं इसके अंदर इंस्ट्रक्शन के अंदर चला गया था कॉल क्यू के अंदर अब मैं वहां से बाहर निकल करके आ गया ठीक है तो बाहर निकल करके जब आया हूं तो फिर मैं यहां पे एग्जीक्यूट करूंगा थ्रेड स्टेप इंस्ट्रक्शन ओवर आई गो टू द नेक्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन ओके सो अब देखो तो अब क्या हो रहा है अब मैं स्टेप बाय स्टेप एक एक इंस्ट्रक्शन एग्जीक्यूट करता जा रहा हूं ठीक है व्यू डेट लोड के ऊपर आ गया हूं मैं अभी व्यू डेट लोड के अंदर इंस्ट्रक्शंस एग्जीक्यूट हो रहे हैं ठीक है ये इसी के अंदर चल रहा है व्यू डेड लोड जो मेथड मेरा कॉल हुआ है व्यू डेड लोड के अंदर जो इंस्ट्रक्शन हैं वो एग्जीक्यूट हो रही है ठीक है ओके सो ये देखने के लिए फिर मुझे डिसअसेंबल करना पड़ेगा स्टेप इंस्ट्रक्शन कहां पर काम कर रहा है एंड देन डिसअसेंबल स्टेप इंस्ट्रक्शन ओवर और स्टेप इंस्ट्रक्शन यस ओके यस ठीक है सो यू कैन दीस आर द स्टेप बाय स्टेप द द कंप्यूटर कॉल्स दीस इंस्ट्रक्शंस ठीक है अब हमें क्या करना होता है इन्हीं इंस्ट्रक्शंस को पकड़ना होता है और मॉडिफाई करना होता है ठीक है आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग माय पॉइंट यस टू कंट्रोल दीज इंस्ट्रक्शंस एंड मॉडिफाई दीज इंस्ट्रक्शंस ओके क्लियर सो इसको आगे अभी हम करेंगे इंस्ट्रक्शंस का मॉडिफिकेशन सो करेंटली आई एम ऑन दिस व्यू डिड लोड इस जगह पे हम चल रहे हैं ठीक है तो थ्रेड स्टेप ओवर स्टार्ट कर देते हैं स्टेप ओवर करते हैं ठीक है स्टेप ओवर टेक्स अस क्विकली मैं आ गया हूं यूआई यू कंट्रोलर के अंदर ठीक है यूआई के व्यू कंट्रोलर कॉल हो गया सेटअप कंपोनेंट्स के ऊपर चले गए आप सेटअप कंपोनेंट्स के बाद सेटअप यूआई पे आ गए ठीक है सेटअप यूआई करने के बाद सेटअप यूआई के अंदर घुसे सेटअप यूआई के अंदर क्या है नेविगेशन कंट्रोल इस प्रोसेस के ऊपर आकर ठीक है तो अब आप ये देखोगे 
कि यही सेम कोड उसका डिसअसेंबली में आ रहा है हमारे पास जिस इंस्ट्रक्शन के ऊपर करंटली अभी हम हैं ठीक है ये कॉल परफॉर्म हुई है नेविगेशन कंट्रोलर से नेविगेशन बार के लिए तो करंट जो थ्रेड है मेरा वो अभी इस कंडीशन के ऊपर है ठीक है इस जगह पे इंस्ट्रक्शन है मेरा भी तो हम असेंबली में रिप्रेजेंटेशन ये है और प्रैक्टिकली कोड में रिप्रेजेंटेशन ये है ठीक है तो अब प्रैक्टिकल कोड तो आपको मिलेगा नहीं बट असेंबली तो आपको हर एप्लीकेशन की मिल जाएगी ठीक है तो आप उस असेंबली को मॉडिफाई कर सकते हो तो पहले आपको कोड समझना पड़ेगा उस कोड का रेलिवेंट असेंबली समझना पड़ेगा एंड देन यू कैन मॉडिफाई एनी इंस्ट्रक्शन यू वॉन्ट बट इट यस हैव यू गॉट आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग कि क्या हो रहा है तो हम yes. से एंडिंग तक हर प्रोसेस को कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं ठीक है उसे मॉडिफाई कर सकते हैं मतलब किसी मान लो दूसरी एप्लीकेशन का कोड आपके पास आ गया तो आपको पता लग जाएगा कहाँ पे कौन सी वैल्यू इनिशियलाइज हो रही है ठीक है एंड जनरली उतना पीस ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन को हम डिसम्बल करके विजुअल हॉपर वगैरह के अंदर देख भी सकते हैं उसका सीडो कोड टू अंडरस्टैंड कि उसने क्या कोड लिखा हुआ है बंदे ने डेवलपर ने समझ रहे हो कि नहीं समझ पा रहे यस यस समझ रहे हो ना तो मतलब कोड अगर नहीं है तो विद द हेल्प ऑफ हॉपर और एनी अदर डिसअसेंबलर वी कैन फाइंड आउट द इंस्ट्रक्शंस कि उसने क्या क्या कोड किया है एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट वी कैन गो टू दैट पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट विद द हेल्प ऑफ एलएलडीपी एंड वी कैन मॉडिफाई द कोड एब्सोल्युटली 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 वी कैन असेंबल कंट्रोल द एप्लीकेशन मॉडिफाई द कोड टेस्ट इट ठीक है अब ये देखो जैसे मैं एक एक इंस्ट्रक्शन एग्जीक्यूट कर रहा हूं ठीक है अब सेट स्टेप इन कर लेता हूं ठीक है स्टेप इन कर लेता हूं आ गया मैं नेक्स्ट टेस्ट मैसेज वाले कोड पे तो आप देखो जब सेटर जेस्टर रिकॉग्नाइजर कॉल हुआ तो मैंने जब ये थ्रेड स्टेप इन किया तो मेरे पास ये मैसेज आ गया कि जेस्टर रिकॉग्नाइजर एग्जीक्यूटेड ठीक है अब मैं किसके ऊपर हूं एन एस लॉग के ऊपर हूं कैन यू सी दैट आई एम करेंटली एन एस लॉग एनएस लॉग का ये है करंट वो आरपी से आरडीएक्स लेकर के लेकर के जा रहे हैं जो उसका स्पेसिफिक स्टब है वो अब हम आगे यहां से मॉडिफाई कर सकते हैं ठीक है हाउ इज इट लुकिंग तो ट्वीक्स भी बना सकते हैं मतलब वी कैन डू एवरीथिंग वट एवर वी फील लाइक ठीक है अभी देखो नेक्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन कॉल किया टेस्ट मैसेज कॉल हो गया ये जो प्रीवियस इंस्ट्रक्शन पे थे हम कैन सी दैट तो अब क्या कर सकते थे हम इसी जगह पे हम इसको मॉडिफाई कर सकते थे उस इंस्ट्रक्शन को ठीक है तो वो मैं आपको बताऊंगा हाउ कैन बी मॉडिफाई अब हम फंक्शनैलिटी में स्टेप बाय स्टेप चलते गए और एप्लीकेशन मेरी लोड हो गई ठीक है एप्लीकेशन इज करेंटली रनिंग तो फिर सर मुझे पहले पहले मुझे अभी ये एक्स कोड में मैं करूंगा ठीक है देन आई विल प्रैक्टिस दिस ऑन एल मुझे पता नहीं चलेगा कि मैं एल से ही करता जा रहा हूँ तो मैं मैं इसको कंपेयर करते जाऊंगा कि ये मैं एल में भी कर रहा हूँ एक्स कोड में भी कर रहा हूँ तो क्या हो रहा है ओनली देन आई विल गेट टू नो दैट कि अगर एक्स कोड में मैं ये नहीं खोल पा रहा हूँ तो एल से मैं कैसे करूंगा बिल्कुल बिल्कुल ठीक है सो सो पहले एक्चुअली एक्सपोर्ट का पार्ट होना चाहिए मतलब पहले डेवलपमेंट होगा फिर डेवलपमेंट से उसकी डिपगिंग होगी फिर हैकिंग होगी दिस इज द थिंग अंडरस्टूड द पॉइंट यस सर सो देयर इज अ असेंबली देयर इज अ प्रोग्रामिंग कोड जो आपने स्विफ्ट में लिखा वो प्रोग्रामिंग कोड असेंबली में कन्वर्ट हुआ उस असेंबली को हम डिबगर से डिबग करते हैं और वही हैकर किसी भी एप्लीकेशन को के बाइनरी को पकड़ के उसको डिबगर में ओपन करके असेंबली से उसको पैच कर सकता है या मॉडिफाई कर सकता है या रीड कर सकता है कि वो इंस्ट्रक्शन मशीन के अंदर क्या परफॉर्म कर रहा है क्या मेमोरी है कौन सा रजिस्टर कहाँ से कैसे कॉपी हो रहा है और वो फिर अपना शेल कोड लिख करके उस इस असेंबली इंस्ट्रक्शन को ही मॉडिफाई कर देता है इसको अपना वो कोड डाल करके रिप्लेस करके तो क्या होता है कि फिर उसके इंस्ट्रक्शंस एग्जीक्यूट होने स्टार्ट हो जाते हैं तो इज इट पॉसिबल कि एलएलडीबी से हम लोग अपनी इंस्ट्रक्शन इस पर डाल सकते हैं मतलब कोड यस 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 अच्छा ओके ओ नेक्स्ट में आए चेक okay. कर सकते हैं और फिर आगे पैच बना के मतलब दे सकते हैं किसी भी उसको एज अ वायरस 
आई शो यू आई शो यू डोंट वरी अभी यहां पे फॉर्म में आ गया ना हां सर मैं ये ये फुल ऑन प्रैक्टिस करूंगा इसका इसको फुल ऑन डोंट आई वाज वेटिंग बिकॉज़ मैं आपको इसलिए इस तरीके से लेकर के आ रहा हूं बिकॉज़ अंडरस्टैंडिंग प्रोग्रामिंग की तो है नहीं ना असेंबली की है बट स्टिल इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड कि अच्छा किस तरीके से सीक्वेंस में चीज हो रही है तो आई बिलीव यू आर गेनिंग इट नाउ यस राइट इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ परफेक्ट प्रैक्टिस absolutely so now you are understanding that there is an application the application has multiple threads in it every thread has multiple frames in it the frames could be of your class your function also it could be of other classes other functions also if you want to modify your application code then you have to access the application's frame itself you need to access its variables its code and then you will be able to modify or see what it is written like that okay doc got it yes got it okay so we can practice till here and then we'll continue here in the next session sure sir okay bye bye take care yeah bye bye thank you thanks for today